Welcome back to BBN Tonight. We've heard from all the new coaches on staff, but there are a lot of new players as well. Curtis Birch talked with transfer wide receiver Tavion Robinson for the Behind Kentucky Football Podcast. Talking about your decision to, to come to Kentucky, kind of why why did you want to come here? For one, you know, it was a great head coach. Great way. I love the way he ran this program, you know, culture, team, players, and obviously the offense. Like, that was the big thing for me you know I wanted I played three years in college you know I could have declared but I wanted a year where it was a big production year where people can see that you know I can be that guy who can catch a lot of balls make a lot of plays and be a number one target in the offense who among your teammates are you watching the most film with getting kind of the playbook under your belt we kind of in the receiver room we kind of all watch film together and we all talk about stuff but you know if I was to see anybody it'd probably be you know Rasan Lewis He's kind of a guy who's been in the system. He knows it well. So, and he played behind Wendell. They kind of mm -hmm. got the similar build. But, you know, I asked him a lot of questions. Uh, Demarcus Harris knows the system well. But you know, anybody who knows it, I mean, quarterback, running back, you know, I just as, I try to soak in as much as possible. So, Rashawn, I mean, do you, do you talk to him about his dad at all yet? Have you? So, before I got here, I knew that that was his dad. But I never really like grasped the concept yeah. of that being his dad until literally last week. I'm like, your dad's Ray Lewis, like arguably the greatest middle linebacker to play the game. You know, you know, I could be, he could like it. You know, some kids don't like being in that position with a, you know, that someone that famous, I guess. But it was just cool. You know, I don't overwhelm him with questions. You know, I know nobody wants to hear that. Yeah. But it is cool. You know, having Ray Lewis as your dad. Yeah, it's a nice to have a guy. As you mentioned, Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer. That's one step away that you can kind of uh, get some some advice from. Speaking of kind of, you know, um, taking on a role, obviously you mentioned it there. He was behind Wandale. You're going to come in and hopefully play a, a similar role. I mean, Wandale had a historic season. Is that pressure? Do you, do you, how do you kind of use that? Because there's no matter what happens, you know you're going to be compared to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily count it pressure. I kind of look at it as, you know, I have the opportunity to do the same thing. Not so much as I have to do that, or like, you know, I have to fill shoes. You know, I, we're two completely different players. We're special. We can make plays with the ball in our hands. We can catch all, every, all the nine yards. But, you know, it's no pressure. You know, I know what I'm capable of. You know, I wouldn't have came here if I doubted myself. But, you know, seeing the type of season he had really motivated me, really showed me like the opportunity I can get in this offense. So let's talk about your your game a little bit. You know, if anybody reviews any of your highlights, you got some jet sweeps. You're in the backfield every once in a while, uh, returning punts. So kind of describe the different aspects of your game outside of just being a, a great wide receiver. Yeah, I mean, as you said, punt return just shows I'm a very versatile player. You know, when I first got to my previous school, I did punt return, kick return, and you know, punt return. I just I'm just a I can make plays with the ball in my hand. You know, I know how to make a first guy miss here and there. You know, I see things before it happened, got good hands, catch radius, but, you know, I mean, everything in my game, I wanted to bring it here. You talked about the wide receiver room, Coach Scott Woodward. How have you guys uh, built some relationships early on in your time here? Really good. You know, when I came on my visit, you know, he was obviously the guy I spent most of my time with, talked to a lot during the process as I was, you know, deciding where I was going. But, you know, he's a great guy, you know. He told me what this offense was capable of, what I'm capable, what the opportunity I have coming in here, and you know he's a real genuine guy. You know my family loved him. He was kind to them, and you know I really I do like Coach Woodward. He knows his stuff. He's a very smart guy, and you know I'm ready to work under. What about the quarterback <laughs> that you'll be playing with next season, Will Levis? Will is a a freak, a very freak athlete. You know, you don't see too many quarterbacks who's six three built like that can sling it 60, 70 yards. Like, it's impressive. You know, my first time catching with him, it was an adjustment. He can he can throw the ball. But, you know, just having that type of quarterback, you know, just makes me confident in the system, the offense, you know, the opportunity to have once again, go out there, catch a lot of balls from my guys like that who can possibly be a first round draft pick. What are you looking to accomplish before this season starts in the upcoming camps and, and practices and in the weight room? Um, Just really building more chemistry with the guys, obviously a quarterback for one, you know, learning the offense to the fullest, you know, concepts, formations, alignments, you know, doing well in school and really just being a leader, 
even though I just got here, because I am an older guy. I've been in college. I played three years of football, but you know, kind of being the leader in the room, an older guy that young guys could look up to, and you know, just just let my ability speak. More BBN tonight is right after this.